because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. And we go on to our main event. This young man causing plenty of waves around Britain and the world right now. Sunny Showtime Edwards against Andre Campos from Chile, looking to become the first world champion from Chile on Saturday night. Sonny Edwards, I think, is, you know, I made a comment earlier this week where I said this man could be the best pound for pound fighter in Britain. I honestly believe he's a special talent. I said yesterday as well, he didn't lie. I never particularly used to like him. You know, I used to watch him on social media and think, I'm not sure about this kid. I had to pull him up once in Sheffield and he had a go at me. And I thought, you know, at the end of the day, if you can't beat him, sign him. And as I saw him win the world championship against Mithalani, I didn't, again, I told him yesterday, I didn't really want him to win that night. He was unbelievable. Didn't lose a second of any round. Won every round. And I believe he's a very special fighter, a fighter that could go on and become undisputed in the flyweight division. Would you make him favourite against Jesse Bam Rodriguez? Would you make him favourite against Julio Cesar Martinez, Delakian? Would you make him favourite against Roman Gonzalez and Juan Francisco Estrada? Quite possibly. But Saturday night, as I said before, we talk about all these fights and Alfie talks about the zone on a global level and we can deliver all these huge unification fights around the world. Yes, we can. But you have to beat what's in front of you. To my left is a young, hungry challenger, undefeated, looking to become the first world champion from Chile, a good, good fighter who's been calling Sonny Edwards out for two years, now gets his opportunity on Saturday night. Andres, welcome. You've been calling for this fight for a long time. You've got it. You're facing a fantastic fighter, but you believe you become Chile's first world champion on Saturday. En primer lugar, bienvenido, Andrés. Has llamado por mucho tiempo esta pelea, has, has querido esta pelea. Finalmente, ya la tienes eh, y tam, supongo que tienes, eh, crees mucho que podrías llegar a ser el primer campeón mundial de Chile. Sí, buen día. Primero que todo, muchas gracias, Eddie. Eh, la verdad que he trabajado mucho para este día. Eh, vamos a demostrar el sábado con, con hechos sobre el ring y no con palabras. Voy a ser el primer campeón mundial chileno. First of all, thank you very much, Eddie, for the opportunity. As you say, I've worked very hard for this opportunity, and we're going to show on Saturday night that we can do it, and that I can become the first world champion from Chile. I loved the head-to-head -head yesterday. Um, you know, there was a lot of backwards and forwards. It was high-level stuff. You said you were going to smash his head in. He called you a Chilean rat. Um, but words aside, this is personal for you only to become world champion, but this guy doesn't seem to like you very much either. Sí, vimos la cara a cara ayer, que muchas, muchas palabras ahí. Él te llamó como rata chilena y después le diste que le vas a romper la cara. Es muy personal quizás para él, pero para ti es solamente negocio que quieres convertirte en campeón del mundo, quizás. Sí, yo vengo a hacer mi trabajo solamente. Él me faltó el respeto a mí, le faltó el respeto a mi equipo. Vamos a ver si el sábado se van a, al medio del ring a pelear conmigo y, y que demuestre lo malo que fue en la calle, tanto en el ring. Lo voy a esperar. So yeah, you know, I'm only focused on my only on doing my work. You know, he was disrespectful to me and also to my team on Saturday. I hope he meets it meets me in the middle of the ring, and we're going to have a tear up. And finally, this man has plenty of skill, and people think the way to beat him is pressure and and try and obviously hurt him in the fight. That's what you're going to bring on Saturday night. You're going to try and meet him in a fight, put the pressure on him, walk him down, and, and win by knockout on Saturday. Sí, muchas personas dicen que es muy habilidoso eh, Sonny Edwards eh, y la forma de, de ganarle es presionarle mucho y, y hacer, hacer tu pelea y presionarle siempre. ¿Es la forma que quieres hacer la pelea mañana y vas a buscar el KO? Bueno, el ideal es, es ganar por nocaut antes del 12. Eh, la verdad es que el, el plan de pelea tenemos plan A, plan B y plan C. Estamos preparados para esta pelea. Trabajé muy duro para este día, así que vamos a ganar. So that's the idea, you know, you always look for the KO in a fight, but we have a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. But we've worked really hard for this, for this opportunity in this fight, and we're going to win. Thank you, Andros. Sonny, welcome. First time up here with you. It's been an eventful fight week. Um, everyone's talking about these big moments, these undisputed fights, but I know you believe you're a level above Andres Cambos, but he's coming with everything on Saturday night. It's a dream opportunity for him, and, and you do expect the best of him. I mean... Firstly, thank you to all the matchroom staff, um, DAZN, 
yourself, Eddie, Frank Smith, for believing in me. Um, I think I'm definitely in the best place and the, the best position of my career. I'm really, really excited about what the future holds. Um, obviously, you know me, Eddie, when I signed, I wanted the big fights now. I feel like I've already been made to wait way too long for them anyway. Um, but yeah, that's not happened yet. The other champions weren't on my timeline. They weren't willing to fight me just yet. I don't think any of them are immediately ready to fight me just now. Anyway, I think we're going to still struggle after this fight. Um, but respect to Campos, as I know the fight was offered to a couple of the top 15, a couple of the top 10, and he was the first one to say yes. We had about 24 hours to get an opponent for this date. I found out a seven weeks notice. I said that was no problem. Um, but yeah, it just happened to be that for the last, well, since December 2021, he's been calling me out, tagging me and stuff. I've been getting messages from all his little Muppet team and trainers and whoever. But he said, I've been disrespectful. I've been shown a lot of disrespect for the last 18 months. And then when he gets to the, when he gets the fight, he signs the contract. All of a sudden he goes ghost, he disappears. I was ready for some little bit of build-up, you know, even if it was just a bit of socials. Um, ideally, I would have wanted a press conference seven weeks ago so we could have had a face-off, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a, a good opportunity for me to showcase what I'm on. Do I believe Andres Campos is the biggest threat in the world? No. Do I think he belongs in the ring with me? I'll be real, I don't, I think. There's a lot of fighters, probably 50 fighters in the weight, probably 100 fighters in the weight that have done more of him, more than him deserving. He's boxed easy opponents over 10 rounds and struggled over and over again. Split decisions in six rounders. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think they can believe their luck, to be honest. They did a GoFundMe to fucking catch flights for all of these idiots. So, um, yeah, they were on holiday. But, yeah, on Saturday, it's not going to go their way. I don't, I don't think they even think it, to be honest. I don't think they even think they're going to win, to be honest. I, I genuinely don't. I just think it ain't got nothing else. So, yeah, that's why it's here. When you two, you're obviously not a big fan of Andres Campos, but does that mean you win in style? And is that the pressure for you on Saturday night? You know, you're talking about being levels above this guy. He shouldn't be in the ring with you. Do you have to go out there and put a really dominant display on? Yeah, it's whatever I want it to be, I think. And I feel like, you know, a 26-year-old that doesn't even know in himself if he can do 12 rounds under the lights yet, I'm not the person to find out. I am not the fighter. I've had veterans that have not lost in decades struggle to even put together two punches against me over 12 rounds. Head completely gone. I've got a 26-year-old Muppet from a country that's never had a world champion. Got an amateur hour set up. He's been sparring with all the amateurs or so, I've heard. Um... Yeah, I just think he's delusion and, and about disrespect. What has this man to my left done in a boxing ring to tell me that I'm not good enough? What would, would, we could find out on Saturday, maybe you can say it on Saturday, but to be on the run-up, if, that, if that's not disrespect, I don't know what is, but as soon as it got to my face, they didn't want to look me in the eyes, they wanted to go all quiet. We had a face-to-face -face where they said we're going to walk into each other and the Muppet didn't even take his hat off. Very disrespectful, wants to talk about disrespect. Tried to bounce his peak of his cap off my head, so I dashed it off his head and he didn't get no reaction. He stood there for five seconds like a rabbit in headlights. And like I said with Coogan yesterday, he was nervous. He tried smiling it off and laughing it off, but I can see the energy in him. He knows he's a beaten man. I'm going to send him back to the mountains of Chile with nothing but a little paycheck from you, Eddie. So the only person he really has to thank is you. Okay. And uh, finally, you've been crying out for this opportunity for a long time. A lot of people in boxing believe how special you are. This is your moment, Saturday night. Big audience around the world to show everybody how good Sunny Showtime Edwards is. Make a statement and go on and try and win all the belts in the division. Yeah, and I feel like, I know you, you already know, Eddie, that it's been a hard task to try and get these champions to respond and you know, be any closer to making the fights. They all want too much money to fight me. They all want retirement money to fight me. They all want millions to fight me. I've got four knockouts, as everyone keeps reminding me, but I've got 19 fights and not 1% of the fights I've ever looked like losing. Boxing's been easy for me, and I think <laughs> my 20th fight's probably one of my easiest. I don't think I've had a fight as easy as this since Ryan Farag. And finally, I have to say, because your phone is on the right of me and I, I've just seen Twitter notification after Twitter notification after Twitter. Are you going to come off Twitter before the fight? Is, does it not wind you up? I mean, how can you stay focused on fight week when you are constantly... To, I mean, and it is you, right? Yeah, it's me, even though the profile says not Sonny Edwards, it is me, I'll be wrong. Unless someone tries suing me, then it's not me. It's my management team. Um, 
But in all seriousness, I don't think people understand the way my brain works. Do I look stressed for Saturday? People, you know, the, the media team, we've done all the filming yesterday. We've done the Boxing doesn't phase me. It's all I've ever done. I've never, you know, had to clock in for work. It's all I've ever done since a nine-year-old boy. I'm 27 years old now. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't phase me. I fight, a physical, whatever, whatever. It doesn't. Saturday night, just like the last 19, and just like hopefully the next 19 after that, it's just going to be a walk in the park. So do I need to come off Twitter? Maybe, but is it affecting my mental? Of course it's not. If anything, I get a little something out of the little verbal back and forward. And I like my name being at the top of everyone's timelines. If it is annoying them, then that's the better. Like, I'm, I don't mind being the, the antagonist. I don't, I don't naturally feel like I have to impress people or make people like me to be any, you know, that's my worth. I'd rather wind people up and then surprise them when they want me to get beat. And then it's just more frustrating watching me make this little Muppet look silly for 12 rounds if I let him go that long. Um, I haven't said ever that I'm going to knock someone out in a boxing ring because I never go in there looking for it. But this kid, I can't see him going 12 rounds. He's never been 12 rounds before. And he struggled against kids that couldn't lace my boots before I jumped in the ring for a world title fight. Like I said, I don't know how he's here. I don't know how it worked out that 15-0 and 0 against no ones has got 7 for the IBF. But, you know, that's the ranking system. And that's a question for another day about boxing. But... Here we are, he's who I've got, and I'm going to show him the levels that I've got on Saturday night. Well, thank you. Fascinating stuff. Sonny Edwards against Andres Campos on Saturday night for the IBF World Flyweight title. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shot up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 